I am Professor Anup Chauhan. I'm the Director of Research here in Portsmouth Hospitals NHS Trust on the south coast of England. We're a large NHS organisation, a large acute hospital, and we have around 7,500 employees and we provide a range of services to our catchment population. The NHS is faced with many challenges across the border that has a huge impact on patient care and all NHS organisations wish to try and deliver the highest quality of care but I believe that there are certain challenges that need to be overcome. The first I believe is the long term conditions and there are many patients in the NHS who suffer with this and the first challenge is to try and keep individuals with long term conditions well and at home to empower them to self manage their condition and also keep them out of hospital to try and reduce unscheduled care admissions for patients suffering with these particular conditions. We face many challenges across long-term conditions and using respiratory disease as an example, which is my area of expertise, I believe digital service can transform the patient pathway. For example, if there was a device that a person can breathe into easily without forcing their breath and that can detect a signal that allows us to diagnose or rule in or rule out a condition but also tell us a little bit more about the state of the disease and whether an exacerbation is about to occur, that will be transformative and this, if this device can be used by patients at home to self-manage would be even um, better. The second challenge is to empower healthcare professionals with the right skills and knowledge to help them look after patients with uh, better care and also deliver a much higher quality of care. And I believe we can do that through digital technologies, but also giving patients and the healthcare professionals access to the right platforms in order to um, document the disease, to try and reduce unscheduled care, but also make sure that patients are on the right medications. A second specific example is to recognise the importance of medicines optimizations. We know that the top five drugs prescribed in primary care are all inhalers, yet um, in real world evidence we know that less than 40% of patients take the inhaler regularly. So we need to try and understand that a little bit more. So if we had, for example, a Bluetooth connected inhaler that encouraged the patient to take their medicines on time, but also record when that medicine is taken and also record the quality of the inhalation that would help us uh, detect patterns of adherence. And we then know that if we improve adherence with medicines optimization will certainly improve disease. The third challenge is a much broader challenge that we face across the NHS and also across Europe. And those are the challenges made through lifestyle choices. Um, these include cigarette smoking, the adverse effects of air pollution, uh, the effects of obesity, and also poor nutrition. So I believe if we can empower patients and healthcare professionals to be able to make the right healthy choices, we can make great inroads and try and improve public health and also reduce unscheduled care and also improve medicines optimizations. Improving exercise and encouraging patients to walk more is a key part of the rehabilitation of many long-term conditions, including COPD. And there's now very good evidence that if we exercise patients specifically and if they can maintain this level of exercise, they get an improvement in their quality of life, better disease control and also increased exercise performance. So a specific solution may be an app or a digital solution that can track a patient's activity, encourage that patient to record and measure that level of activity so that they can track their fitness. And if this information is available to healthcare providers, this would be particularly helpful. And as a result of increased um, exercise, we will often see an improvement in our other comorbid conditions as well. We know that probably about half of patients who suffer with their long-term conditions, they don't always have one. They're not mutually exclusive. They often have other conditions. 